this. What I'm are the secrets of Easy Pass? As a college student in the early 1970s, I had a summer job as a toll collector on the Tappan Zee Bridge. Boring job, but great pay. But even then, it was clear that toll collection would become automated. At first, with those special lanes with the baskets that you throw your change into, assuming you had the correct change, and nobody ever did. But by the early 1980s, the states of New York and Pennsylvania's toll authorities, which between them make up two-thirds of the United States' $3 billion a year tolling industry, well, they began experimenting with electronic toll tags, as much to reduce congestion at toll booths as to replace human collectors. But it was Oklahoma that introduced the first toll tag in 1991. Today, you can travel roads from Maine to Illinois to Virginia and use the same Easy Pass. And Connecticut drivers, get ready. Everyone knows tolls are in our future. Easy Pass technology is pretty simple. Each pass contains an RFID chip, which, when pinged by an outside reader, transmits a unique code identifying you as the pass holder. Your ID is recorded and the toll is deducted from your account. As an incentive, most systems offer EasyPass users a discount. For example, the cash toll for cars on the Tappan Zee Bridge is $4, but EasyPass holders only pay $4.75. The Tappan Zee Bridge even offers high speed, well, 35 miles an hour, high speed lanes that read your EasyPass without even having you stop. But gateless toll lanes are being taken advantage of by some. The New York Port Authority estimates that 2% of all vehicles drive through Easy Pass lanes without paying, and that costs that agency almost $7 million a year in lost revenue. On the Henry Hudson Bridge, which links Manhattan and the Bronx, all lanes are Easy Pass, as there have been no human toll collectors there since 2014. If you don't have a toll tag for the $2.50 fee, they snap a picture of your license plate and send you a bill through the mail for $5. But the MTA says they've been unable to collect about $4 million in tolls from those people who were billed. Even law-abiding EasyPass holders should know that Big Brother may be watching them, even miles from any toll lane. The New York City Department of Transportation uses hundreds of Easy Pass readers in Manhattan, it says, to monitor the flow of traffic. But the New York Civil Liberties Union calls that an invasion of privacy. Combined with the millions of data points collected by New York City Police Department license plate readers, it's pretty hard to keep your whereabouts a secret. Never mind that your cell phone is constantly broadcasting your location. Your Easy Pass could even let authorities determine if you were speeding as you pass between readers, though the New York Thruway insists that's not in the plans and probably would not stand up in court. So, the choice is yours. Pay cash, wait in long toll lines, and remain anonymous. Or get an Easy Pass, enjoy the discounts and speedy trips, but leave a record of your travels. Jim Cameron for Talking Transportation.